Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. Thank you for joining me this evening, coming to you with a very brief update in regards to the Resorts World Project in Las Vegas. As you all probably know, I've gone very, very quiet on this topic, um, certainly over the last sort of three to four weeks. The reason for that was the project was struggling. Um, I believe at one point, Resorts World uh, got very close to potentially canning the project. And it, it, it was down to permit issues, which is a real shame. Uh, they've had to modify the actual route of the tunnel. A lot of this stuff could have been resolved prior to uh, construction. And, and really, um, you, you know, the, these sort of issues should, should not occur just, you know, prior to uh, a tunnel being uh, started, basically. So it's disappointing, obviously, you know, things are, are going now gangbuster style, but uh, it, it's definitely put a bit of a dampener on the project, really, and also the uh, the, the actual launch of uh, Proof Rock, which was its first kind of project. So how that actually affects this, this scheme is, is going to be uh, uh, quite uh, unfortunate, really. It's, uh, it's it's happened, but it's a video I didn't want to do, but you know, we're going to do the video. I'm going to explain to you a few changes and, and why I'm a bit disappointed. But anyway, thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to the video and please comment on the video. Tell me what you think about delays with Proof Rock and delays on the Results World uh, project. So this is the old route, as you can see, it was terminating here. Um, this area here is already a kind of a cut and cover job. Um, there's two tunnels here. They were already built prior to construction even starting. Um, prior to even the first bits and pieces of uh, proof rock turning up on site, uh, various issues arose um, between Resorts World and the uh, planning kind of uh, committee, as it were, and uh, ultimately that has led to uh, some very serious delays recently. So as you can see, we, we have now revised the routes. It's not quite as straight as the previous routes. Uh, it's shaped more like a banana in this kind of position. Um, yeah, but, but uh, the station has been moved further back here to uh, the east. Um, this part of the scheme here is, is pretty much the same. Project in itself is slightly longer. Um, in terms of uh, the top speed of vehicles going through the system, it's probably going to be about the same. I can't imagine it's going to be getting over 60 miles per hour, maybe up to 65. Uh, but there are some new uh, curvatures to the actual alignment, which ultimately may uh, result in vehicles uh, choosing to, to, to use a slower speed, as it were. Um, this did not need to happen. We, we, we didn't need these changes just as Proof Rock was, was coming on site and, and starting to uh, uh, be assembled and the um, poor poising was about to begin. It, it didn't need to happen like this. All this work could have been done prior to um, any kind of construction work starting and all these issues between Resorts World and the local authority could have been uh, uh, ironed out prior. And, and I don't know if it was some kind of, of game that Resorts World were playing they they wanted kind of um, to avoid uh, having to uh, uh, gather these permits as it were but uh, ultimately things got resolved uh, via compromise but it got very close to this particular project being canned which would have been quite devastating for the boring company um, and it would have just fed the uh, Tesla Q dummies in the basement and, and ultimately would have caused me some aggravation as well uh, but Thankfully, this is that's the end of the bad news. This is the good news. The project is going strong as of now. Um, September has been a, a good month compared to August. Much better month than August. The uh, machine seems to be uh, getting up to speed. It's not quite there yet, but it's certainly getting up to speed. The actual conveyor belt system is working better than expected. Uh, looks extremely reliable and a much more um, fast and efficient method of removing spoil. Uh, potentially for, for short tunnel projects like this. So hopefully they can implement that on some other projects they intend to use. So, you know, lessons are being learned, uh, techniques are being tested, and overall proof walk um, 
seems to be doing okay. One criticism might be the, the long period of time it, it, it took to assemble Proofwalk, uh, almost uh, four weeks. I don't know if it was slowed down because of the, the permit issues, but it looked to me like they were having some issues uh, calibrating and assembling the machine. Maybe I'm wrong. If you know otherwise, tell me in the comments below or email me. Uh, but certainly things were fairly slow. But um, when it's uh, actually up and running, it seems to be doing reasonably uh, well. Uh, so here's some kind of updated pictures that I've received in the last week or so. As you can see, we have our conveyor belt system just down here. Um, actual conveyor belt uh, kind of back end is, is inside these units here. Um, and as the conveyor belt extends, they, uh, you know, further um, sort of extend that belt down into the uh, into the tunnels, as it were. Here, here, here it is close up. Um, you know, things seems to be going reasonably well uh, the last two weeks, so that's that's all good news. Uh, just to further look at the plans which have been revised, I, I pulled these off um, Reddit, which uh, was great. Thank you so much for people who post this kind of information. Um, as you can see, it goes under the Elvis Presley Boulevard now a lot more, and then it, it continues to follow this right of way. That's the, the kind of starting point of the tunnel. Um, I'm not sure what it means by parking removes. I'm assuming there is still parking available in this area, unless it connects into this road now, but I've not been made aware of that. Um, here's the, the end piece, as it were, of the, uh, the system that has already been constructed by Resorts World. This piece here is already built. It's on the ground, ready to go. The, the, the signage in the casino pointing you down the escalators uh, in this area. Um, uh, this area here, which I'm going to show you in a moment, is the uh, uh, retrieval uh, shaft or the reception shaft, however you like to put it. Um, th this tunnel here uh, is, is being constructed. There's a nice uh, easy gradient here. Uh, looks about 1 in 12, maybe slightly more than that uh, for vehicles to come in and come out. Uh, this detail here is a little bit, I'm a little bit unsure about how vehicles re-enter the system, but um, I'm presuming there is some kind of cutaway here. Um, that's the drive path. Um, here it is. So here's the retrieval shaft. As you can see, this is Las Vegas Boulevard here. Um, it looks like at some point they're going to have to uh, uh, excavate this area here uh, and then retrieve the machine. Um, obviously that will result in this road being uh, closed off as it were and then you've got your ramps here up to the uh, uh, what would be considered the station for Resorts World it's a good project I mean I like it um, but um, it's really there's a real dampener on it because of these delays and because um, the, the, the client potentially was looking to, to, to pull out it, it, it does kind of um, certainly upset me to, to, to see that at such a, an early stage in a project um, but I, I'm guessing that there, there were some financial implications to these permits and ultimately uh, Resorts World didn't want to pay uh, and someone has, has reached out to me and told me exactly that that was one person maybe that's accurate maybe that's inaccurate I don't know but uh, there you go so here's our retrieval shaft uh, looks a decent size you know it's not really changed that much the actual uh, uh, kind of scope of the project um, just some minor changes to the uh, the alignment but uh, again here's the here's the ramp um, actually stipulates here that the um, external diameter of the tunnel is 13 foot 6 inches which is slightly less than what I've uh, been using for my estimates so that's worth knowing I don't know if that's um, they've reduced that for this particular project with it being proof rock who knows that would make sense from a cost perspective so just to kind of summarize what I'm feeling at the moment, you can probably tell from my voice and, and um, my lack of uh, enthusiasm, as it were, that uh, it's disappointing, but it will be finished. And most importantly, you learn more from experiences like this than when you just jump on site and everything goes swimmingly. I can tell you that from my own personal experience. Uh, the, the kind of uh, big project that I kind of uh, almost finished my career on, as it were, was an absolute shit show and uh, uh, I think I learned more on that project than the previous five projects combined so uh, there you go 
uh, I, I guess th there's <laughs> positives to negatives uh, in this one. Uh, problems due in August caused considerable delays. August was just a, a lost month for this project. Real shame. TBM took forever to assemble, took forever to calibrate. All these permit issues resulted in lots and lots of lost time on site. Uh, ultimately, um, this is going to have implications on the end cost as well, which again is disappointing. But um, the project will pay for itself in you know three to five years. So in the end, it doesn't really matter. And Resorts World should really absorb those costs because they were part of the problem. Uh, Proofwalk has not succeeded yet. It's getting there. It'll be interesting to see how the machine performs over the next sort of three weeks. Um, hopefully in those three weeks it, it, it does complete that alignment. However, uh, again, you know, this is the first innings, as it were, of Proof Rock. And we, we're we looking to see if it can really hit those high speeds, you know, 35, 40, 45 metres, 50 metres per day. Um, is it getting close to that or does it require some additional works? We will find out at the end of the project. At this moment in time, it's difficult to say. I think they will iron out the kinks, as it were, um, over the next uh, few weeks, I imagine. And uh, it might be that Proof Rock is then used again at the uh, the, the Win uh, Encore uh, Casino project. Um, and hopefully by that time, those learnings can be transferred onto that project and then they can break some records. So, so Proof Rock, not successful yet, but it's getting there. Best to struggle now, learn the key lessons prior to starting larger projects. Trust me, uh, I learned that the hard way. Um, quite a lot of people in, in their careers have learned that the hard way, but uh, they are good lessons. They are good lessons to learn. And uh, you know, the Boeing Company is a startup. This is a difficult business. This is, you know, at the forefront of innovation. Um, they work in an industry that's very closed off to them where people don't necessarily want to help them. So they're gonna have to learn, you know, some of the, uh, issues that you encounter off the cuff as it were um, and mistakes are going to be made but the most important thing is that you learn from those mistakes you adapt you know uh, you, you then try again you take those improvements and then you adapt again make further improvements further you know evolve the product until it's uh, a lot better than the competition the win and call uh, sorry the win and call loop will be pushed into q1 2022 i don't think they will start until after christmas i might be wrong on that one um but it looks like that will be delayed until uh, next year uh which is fine you know it's a small project again it's not really that important to the boeing company but it's an important project to to, to, to kind of learn um the the inner workings of uh, proof rock uh, Elon Musk likely needs to invest more time in the company. I, I, I think at the moment he, he's you know giving around one percent, maybe one point five percent of his time. Um, I, I personally would like to see him spend less time at, at Tesla, more time with the Boeing company. I appreciate that time is a limited resource for Elon Musk, but if he could give you know three percent of his time, uh, or slightly more than that, I think that would be really important for the, the Boeing company it's further development I mean um, in Steve Davis they've got a good guy there who's obviously you know doing good things but um, uh, to have you know Elon Musk in there as well would, would certainly help uh, help them all um, in terms of progress okay so all in all not great news but don't worry don't worry people we're gonna get there in the end this project will be finished the winning call casino will be finished and then we move on to the big boy the Las Vegas loop all you know 38 miles of it so it's uh, it's onwards and upwards from here okay guys if you'd like to support this channel and support me please consider going to uh, Twitter and following me go on to discord join the server tell us what you think about this uh, video and about the Boeing company and please consider supporting me on patreon for just two dollars that would be a real help for me and of course all my existing patreons who are incredible credible people and they support me help me grow this channel help me make better videos uh, guide me on topics that they want to see covered and overall uh, are very very helpful uh, to me and uh, this uh, kind of community thank you so much thank you thank you okay well that's the end of the video thanks for joining me hope you enjoyed it more videos coming soon this channel is growing I am super bullish on the Boeing company and we're going to do big things. Thank you so much. 
Take care now, and remember, don't be boring. I will see you on the next one. Thank you, and good night. Let's <laughs> go!